James Patani has a feel for pennies, but not all of them, only those made before 1982. That's when pennies were made almost entirely of copper. I had a good, good five gallon jug, you know, water bucket filled up of uh, copper pennies. I think it was one and a half cents per penny or so, so it wasn't too bad of a return on all that. The price of copper has skyrocketed in recent years. A government report considering changes to the penny composition is due to Congress in December. And if any changes are made, then copper pennies could become even more profitable. This penny is made almost entirely out of copper, which means it is more valuable than current pennies, which are made out of zinc. Despite that, one UT professor thinks that hoarding copper pennies is a bad investment. That, that's a labor-intensive, arguably, uh, activity. You know, the question is, is that the best use of your time, collecting pennies for the purpose of making an investment? While people may doubt their strategy, passionate penny hoarders believe they will win in the end. There's nothing really dumb that I could think of when it comes to spending a cent and getting you know, one and a half cents back in the long run. Leslie Slaughter, Texas News Watch.